What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Golden83, and I am here to do the monthly manifestations for the month of May, okay? Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys have been working on your energy um, before we get into May, okay? Um, as we are now in the month of renewal, rebirth, things of that nature, April showers, bring May flowers, okay? So with that being said, remember you guys, these are general messages, not personal. So take what resonates and pass the rest to the next, okay? So you already know we're going to use the Moonology deck only. That's the only deck that we use for the monthly manifestations. Um, before we get into this deck, um, we need to go over some dates, okay? So the it's kind of weird, okay? Um, because as you know, April had literally two new moons, okay? So your progress usually starts off with or whatever goal um, that you are trying to obtain usually starts with you um, making out a plan or reviewing what it is that you want to work on on the new moon, okay? So you're kind of working off of April's energy going into May. So April 30th was the second new moon in April, okay? So the advice um, in the last um, monthly manifestation for April is that you remove what no longer serves you, okay? With positive energy, with love, sending it with no ill intentions, just saying this is what I have to release, okay? And so that technically is your new moon um, before going into May, okay? Um, because the same goes for May, there is a new moon at the end of May. So the same thing will possibly be required of you in May as well to remove any possible uh, energy, negative energy from you and focus it on only the positive energy, okay? So... Like I said, April 30th being your first but leftover residual <laughs> new moon energy. So on that new moon on the 30th, that should have been of April 30th, that should have been the time for you to say, okay, what is it that I need to remove from my environment, remove from my energy, okay? Whether it be for self-improvement, friendships, things of that nature, okay? Reevaluating and removing what shouldn't move forward with you, okay? If it's not of positive connotation, okay? That's your first step of manifesting, okay? Is on the new moon. Second step is checking your halfway progress point um, on the first quarter moon. The first quarter moon is on the 8th of May. Okay, on the 8th of May. So on the 8th of May, what you should be doing is checking what or where is your progress from the new moon on April 30th, like I just said, okay? And ask yourself, did you leave any pain or negative energy behind in April? Again, April showers, meaning we kind of go into this like hibernation type phase um, like in the fall, end of the year, going into winter, okay? Usually there's some things that possibly transpire for most people, um, really kind of feeling just bogged down because of, you know, the weather being very dreary, things of that nature. And when it comes to spring, we have a lot of, you know, overcast like days, things of that nature. And so our energy is kind of off. Okay, some people like to blame it on Mercury retrograde. It's really just a personal choice, okay? Don't focus so much on Mercury retrogrades being the main reason that something is going wrong, okay? Um, it could just be your placements in your chart that need attention, okay? Um, such as maybe career is bothering some of you. Maybe relationships are an issue. 
um, maybe you have some traumas. As you get older, traumas tend to rear their ugly heads out of nowhere, okay, where something seems to maybe trigger you, okay? And so come April, you know, there's this kind of change in energy where April showers mean exactly that. Some of us go through a lot of mental and emotional duress um, before the flowers tend to bloom, before the sun is at its brightest, um, and it feels like everything is going to be okay. And then once the summer comes, everybody's like, yes, you know, it's that warm energy, okay? Um, and that's why probably a lot of people love the summer or, you know, just the tail end of spring because it's warmer, you're able to go out, you're able to be in the sun, whereas in the fall and winter time, you're pretty much kind of hibernating. There's nothing really much to do. It's cold, you don't really wanna be outside. It's, it's a lot, okay? So it does tend to mess with the psyche, okay? So that being said, let's keep moving forward where your next prog progress, uh, self-progress report for yourself for manifesting is the full moon okay so the next full moon in may is on the 16th okay 16 coming out to seven let's focus on inner strength on this day okay inner strength for whatever it is that you are trying to manifest okay in your life on the 16th of may is the full flower moon okay that's when flowers begin to bloom in spring, okay? And so again, April showers bring May flowers, okay? That's how it works. That's the, the saying, that's how it goes. Um, what you need to consider is what will bloom in your life this month, okay? Carry this positive energy forward, okay? Not just for the month of May, but moving forward. Take advantage of all of this positive warm energy okay um you may notice that in the spring you have more energy you have more drive you feel more motivated to do things because the weather is right okay for you to get a lot of things done people see a lot of things okay so depending on what it is that you're working on that may involve a lot of networking things of that nature a lot of people what have we been doing? We've been Zoom calling, things of that nature, video co conferences, talking on the phone, texting, all of that um, during the colder months. Nobody really wants to go out. Everybody handles everything inside. So now it's that time to start really networking and, you know, rubbing elbows with people. And so if there's something you're trying to market, the best thing for you to do is now, once now that the weather is is warmer now okay depending upon where you are okay but carry that positive energy forward really push the pavement okay um next thing is to time to put actions with your words okay if you've been building up and writing out a plan and things of that nature when are you actually going to put your words into action okay now is the time okay for those of you focusing on maybe more spiritual inner healing things of that nature it's time for you to heal those traumatic wounds with gratitude meditation honesty and accountability of action or lack of action okay excuse me i always say this in all of my videos you take accountability where it's and when it's needed or relatable to the reading but you have to take accountability for the actions that you decide to take towards a situation or the lack of action, okay? If you're looking for something to be resolved but you're not doing anything to resolve it and you're waiting for something else to happen, that means you are not fully invested, okay, in making the healing happen, okay, if there's healing to be had, okay? Again, that's if that's your personal goal for this month okay or for the past couple of monthly manifestations okay have gratitude for where you are right now have gratitude for the fact that you are able to acknowledge what it is that you need to work on what it is that you need to heal from okay 
have gratitude for being able to notice those things that need to be worked on and actually work towards healing them, whether it be meditation, whether it be therapy, all of those things that are useful to build your positive energy up, okay? So that way you can move forward in whatever other goals you are trying to obtain in your life, okay? Now, May 30th, like I said, is the next new moon, okay? The next new moon. So here we are again, getting another new moon before we go into the next month, meaning there's something that needs to be resolved, okay? Something that needs to be addressed, okay? So, um, so it's not a coincidence that it lands on the 30th again this month the next new moon lands on the 30th yet again april 30th was a new moon and now may 30th has a new moon the universe is calling for you to center your mind body and spirit there is something you are choosing to neglect or choosing to suppress okay which is keeping you from reaching your goals or your fullest potential okay be, be it a relationship, friendship, career, change in location, or inner truth that's meant to be released, okay? So you need to figure out what it is. Three is talking about centering yourself, mind, body, and spirit. There's something that is still hindering you, something that's on your mind, something that's on your heart space, wherever it may be, is hindering you. Okay, you need to figure out what that is. What was it that you kept on you from April and have brought it into May? Okay, and if it's not removed by the end of the new moon in May on May 30th, then it is going to continue to bother you going forward. Okay, so again, take in the energy that you want, not the energy that you don't want. Okay. So with that being said, let's go ahead. I'm going to reshuffle this deck to prepare for you guys, okay? Those are the dates that are very important. I will try and put those in the description box below um, so that way you can um, write them down for your knowledge um, for a later time to just check on your progress, okay? On what, like I said, whatever it is that you're working on whether it be a business plan, self-improvement, relationship goals, whatever the case may be, okay? Um, I would definitely suggest either getting a farmer's almanac, which has all of the new moon, um, full moon, first quarter moon, all the moon cycle energies in it, okay? Um, if you have a spiritual shop that happens to have a calendar um, of those moon cycles, by all means, you can use theirs too. Um, but I have switched to the Farmer's, Farmer's Almanac. I have uh, a calendar more so, um, which has been very helpful to me. So that way I can provide you guys with the dates, okay? Um, or you can just come here and look for the monthly manifestations every month um, and get the dates through me, okay? So let's get started, all right? We are going to pull three cards, all right? Um, one from the top, one from the bottom, and one energetically from the middle to see and ask some questions in reference to your progress for the month of May, okay? So, one from the top, one from the bottom, and one energetically from the middle. feel as though we'll be referring to the bottom of the deck um, for this reading for a few of you. Okay, so 
The first question is for the first placement, which is the new moon, which would technically be for in regards to the April 30th new moon, okay? And that's why I feel like we're going to go to the bottom of the deck, which to refer to the May 30th new moon, okay? We're not going to flip these over just yet, okay? So the top card here is in reference to April 30th new moon placement, okay? It says conclusions are within reach. Conclusions are within reach, okay? Like I said, okay? April 30th is a time for you to make a resolution in, in regards to what needs to be removed from your space, okay? That's not serving you, okay? Taking into the month of May what has been serving you, okay? Positive energy only going into May so that way you can bring new life in into your your atmosphere into your environment okay so whatever it is that's been plaguing you as of the end of april on that new moon you are coming to a conclusion of what it is that you actually want and what you want to focus on and what's needed in your life anything that's not needed in your life you're leaving it alone okay whether it be having negative thoughts um, being judgmental um, of people, places, and things around you, okay? Um, taking on a new thought process, um, coming close to that business deal, okay, um, that you've been working on for yourself, conclusions are within reach, okay? It's just all about you focusing on getting to those conclusions and being very open to coming to some resolve for yourself, okay? Because it's all about growth, okay? Thus, monthly manifestations, okay? So, the second card placement is for the, for the first quarter moon, which is on the 8th of May, okay? The question here is, will or have you made any progress, okay? Hold your vision. Okay, hold your vision is the message here for the first quarter moon on May 8th. Okay, meaning whatever it is that you have in sight for you collective, okay, you need to hold your vision for it. Okay, if you still have some fine tuning to do, do it. Okay, the first quarter moon is just a check in point. Okay for you to say, okay, what is it that I still need to do? There's some little bits and pieces that are missing, such as maybe that person you need to talk to um, that someone put you in contact with, okay? Maybe it's something that happened over the last few months and you've kind of been putting it off or maybe it was like out of sight, out of mind, okay? Um, call that person, get in contact with them so you can get that information that you need because I feel as though for some of you, it will be very integral to what it is that you're working on, okay? If it's in reference to a business deal or things of that nature um, or trying to get some information um, for something in particular, okay? So hold your vision, okay? Come the first quarter moon, which is very good advice, okay? Um, maybe it's something that you are already in progress of. Maybe you just started something and you're kind of feeling a little down about yourself because the progress or there's been no progress, okay? Just because there's no progress doesn't mean that there won't be any progress. Hold your vision. Look at what it is that maybe you need to do. Maybe you need to do some more marketing. Maybe you really need to push your 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 services out if this is in reference to a business that you have, okay? Um, maybe you need to talk a little bit more, network a little bit more. Here we are, May. Sun is shining. Warmth is here. This is now the time for you to really get out maybe do some posting of flyers or hand cards out or really talk to people, maybe start going to events, things of that nature to really start mingling with people who have the same mindset as you, okay? So that being said, 
hold that vision, okay? Hold that vision. If you want it, you have to hold on to it, okay? The last placement card here is for the full moon, which is on the 16th of May, May, the full flower moon, all right? The question here is, has or is the intention or goal been achieved? Or is it being achieved, okay? So again, that is where you should be making some progress or have made some progress by the full moon. It says work through your fears, okay? Work through your fears, okay? So as we see, the scorpion is here, okay? You don't have to be a Scorpio. You could just have Scorpio in your chart or around you. But new moon is in Scorpio. I don't really focus on the moon settings at the bottom by all means. You can go and check um, full moon in Scorpio and see when that is this year, okay? Um, but work through your fears, okay, in reference to this part of your goal, your manifestation, okay, in regards to if your goal is being achieved, okay? Work through those fears. Whatever it is that's plaguing you that you're not sure if you're, you know, doing things right or fear of rejection, um, fear of failure, things of that nature. How can you fail at something if you haven't even tried, okay? Work through those fears, okay? It's okay. N don't take every failure as a failure. It is just a way for you to see what went wrong or didn't go right and fix it to make it work, okay? There's millions of ways to do a lot of things, okay? It's not always going to be perfect that first time, okay? It's going to take a little bit of fine-tuning in order to get it just the way it should be, okay? Whatever it is that you're working on. If it's fear in commitment or relationships, you need to actually express those fears and relationships to your person and maybe you can talk it out with them and they can help you in healing and kind of easing your mind about, you know, what it is that they anticipate from a relationship, okay? Or what they expect from you. They shouldn't really expect much from you, but for you to be yourself, okay? And if that's all they expect from you, there should be no fears with that, okay? If it's in reference to a business, okay? Um, don't be so fearful or saying to yourself, well, everybody's doing this. What, what am I going to bring to the table? It's not about other people. It's about what you have specific, specifically in you. Okay. Don't be fearful because of the fact of fear of competition. You are your only competition, nobody else. Okay. Because whatever you provide is going to be different from anything else anyone else is do, doing, okay? That you do your research, okay? You look and see what everyone else is doing, okay? And not to poke holes at it or even come at a competitive mindset towards someone else, but see how you can make a difference in doing something that's completely out of the norm, okay? So with that being said, let's go in to the bottom of the deck, okay, to see what the energy is for the new moon on the 30th of May, okay? Look at the bigger picture, okay? Is at the bottom of the deck. This is the card for the new moon on May 30th. Okay, where you're setting new intentions yet again, reevaluating. Okay, look at the bigger picture. Okay, look at the bigger picture. And it's funny how I, I'm putting this right underneath the hold your vision for the first quarter moon. Okay, because this is going to be in correlation to the next first quarter moon in June. Yes, first quarter moon in June, okay? So look at the bigger picture. Come the end of the month of May, okay? Look at how far you've come. Look at what it is that now at this time on, on May 30th, 
you should be saying, okay, I really have a, a good plan or I've really made some headway in my healing process. What has really been holding me back? What has really been my main issue? Okay. And really pick at it. Okay. Be honest with yourself. Do not hold back. If this is in reference to your self-improvement and your healing, you have to be honest with yourself. If you're in therapy, you need to be honest with your therapist, okay? Do not hold anything back. If there is something you have been suppressing and holding in because you are fearful you of, of being judged, if you're talking to a therapist, it is a safe space. They do not have the authority to judge you. They have the authority to help you heal, okay? They have the obligation to help you heal and for you to dig deep and understand what the bigger picture is of why you are fearful of whatever it is that's plaguing you, okay? Like I said, whether it be a relationship or a business, for a lot of you, I believe it's either between one of the two, okay? So don't be fearful, move forward, hold your vision of being a better version of yourself than you were yesterday, looking at the bigger picture of what has been plaguing you, Okay, if it is about inner strength, inner health, inner um, inner healing, inner wisdom, okay, look at the bigger picture, okay? There's something there, all right? And so as we go into this new month, of course, want to go into May with new energy, okay? Coming into May with new energy. So possibly for then, this is for the collective, this is in reference to and will be attached to how everyone's, every zodiac sign's energy is going to be for the next three weeks in May, okay? So this is what I want everybody to focus on, okay? Whether it be business or self. And primarily, like I said, it's not a coincidence that the new moons have fallen on the 30th of April and the 30th of May. They go together three mind, body, and spirit, centering yourself, equaling out to six, talking about reevaluation. And that is what's very prevalent here, okay, is that there's going to be between these, between those two months, April and May, there needs to be some reevaluation in your life, okay, in whatever it is that you are trying to manifest, okay? So with that being said, that is all that I have for you guys for the monthly manifestation. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful month of May and I'm looking forward to some positive energy from all of the signs. I'm hopeful of that, okay? And I hope that this monthly manifestation gets you in that space, okay? So until then, I'll see y'all soon. Peace.